Jack here from Jack's Guitar Archaeology. Um, so if you know me at all, you know I know love nothing more than running a good idea or joke into the ground. Um, I think nothing proves that more than my development of the cow hell from its initial iteration. I now have like, I didn't even count. I don't even know how many models I've made now. But I thought I would make this video just so I could walk you through each one, uh, what it has, what it doesn't have, and how it's just all kind of variations on a theme. Um, so we'll start at the beginning with the Cow Hell 1. It's obviously the original, standard issue, electric cowbell. Um, it's got the dangler in it. Um, it also just has a simple volume control. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can turn it up or down, control the feedback. They all kind of work the same in that you can use it as a cowbell, or you can hit it, of course, or you can also scream or sing into it. Um, it works as kind of a low, lo-fi can microphone. So that's the Cowhell 1, just simple volume control. And then I had the Cowhell 2. And what I did was I added a uh, tone control down here, and it's just basically a modified uh, treble bleed circuit, like a guitar circuit. Um, and what it does is it'll, it'll really boost the highs if you crank it. And if you turn it all the way down, it'll, it'll start choking off the highs, then the high mids, then the low mids, and then eventually it'll just choke out everything. Um, so that's, that's what that does. It just gives you a little more variance in tone. Um, and, and that way you can also control the feedback more. And especially if you're using it as a microphone, it's a lot of fun to mess with the tone control. Um, and then I have... The Cow Hell drum kit model. Um, this is the same thing as the Cow Hell one. The uh, pendulum or dangler, as I like to call it, is just removed. So um, you can you can mount it to your drum kit and use it. Um, without the pendulum in there, it has a really long tone. So if you turn it all the way up, um, it, it, it'll hum forever. But if you turn it down, you can get a little more standard, like low rider cowbell tone. Um, this is the Cow Hell 2 drum kit mount. Um, it is the exact same thing. It just has the same tone control that the Cow Hell 2 has. Um, again, it gives you a lot more variance. Um, of course, I recommend running these through pedal boards and stuff like that, doing all kinds of weird effects with them. Um, but if a drummer wanted to add a little ring or just a really loud ping to his set, he could do this with a little raw under practice amp or something like that. Um, cut through. So next I went on to making the Cow Hell Deluxe. And the Deluxe is just the Cow Hell with a handle. Um, and I've also started including a keychain loop um, that runs through it. So you can clip it on your keys or whatever like that. Easy for travel. It is a little bit smaller than the original Cow, um, the original Cow Hell. Um, it sits about 10 inches tall while the original bell sits seven inches tall. You can see a size comparison here. So the bell is actually just a little bit smaller, but that's to make room for the handle. It is a lot more comfortable. It fits in your hand. It's real, real nice. Um, of course, I only make this one with the pendulum in. Uh, there would be really no reason to have the handle if you didn't have the pendulum in it. Um, but that is the Cow Hell Deluxe 1. And then the Cow Hell Deluxe 2 is the same thing, but with that aforementioned tone control. Um, and it just gives you a little more tone variance. And as I said, these can all be used as microphones. They can all be hit with sticks. They can all be used as cowbells. And I'm sure one of you is going to come up with some use for this that I have never even thought of and more power to you. So um, that's pretty much it for the basic models. Um, I've kind of gone on to get a little fancy with it. Um, we've got the Cow Hell Deluxe now in colors using uh, Easter cowbells. Um, I've started distressing them too, so they have a nice patina. These are going to be kind of top of the line. They sound the best, um, and they have, you know, upgraded parts and stuff like that. Um, and then I've got the Cow Hell Deluxe 2 in a distressed black as well. Um, and I'm probably going to add more colors, and you didn't hear this from me, but maybe we'll have some uh, custom art Cow Hells coming up soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then after that, I came up with, uh, what my wife calls the calf. Um, this is a cow hell regular. It's just little bitty. It has a much higher, much tinnier tone. When you run it through an amp, it's really, really, really piercing. Um, I'm going to do demos for all of these so you can find them on my YouTube channel. Um, or I might just tack some on the end of this video to annoy the hell out of you. Who knows? Um, but this is going to be the calf, the cow hell mini, um, 
This is the regular non-distressed in uh, fire engine red. Um, I've also got them in blue. And I'll have some white ones coming up soon as well. Um, and I'm, I've even started making fancier ones of those too. I did this one in what I'm calling distressed Coke machine. It sort of looks like an old, old Coke vendor. Um, and the stressed ones I'm going with the vintage knobs just to give it a, you know, old school look like you bought it in the sixties and beat, beat the hell out of it. Um, and then last but not least, uh, a friend of mine informed me that cowbells are a thing of, uh, Mississippi state bulldogs. Uh, they like to get pumped up for the game with cowbells. So made some Mississippi state, uh, bulldog cow hells. Um, if you want to be the loudest person at the tailgate party, just bring your half stack and plug in your Mississippi State electric cowbell, cow hell. But anyway, that's the full line. As you can see, they're all more or less the same idea, just different variations on a theme. Um, they range in price just depending on, you know, the deluxes are more expensive than the regulars and the twos are more expensive than the ones. So obviously something like this is going to be the most expensive one. Um, but they're, they're really neat and I hope you guys like them as much as I do. Thanks for watching.